Mr. Foster, first thing, let me say, do not make any statement. Anything you say can be used against you. Jameer Foster, Zakaria Blackwell, and John Morrison each appeared over video, facing not only the judge, but also Police Chief Thompson, Mayor Nancy Vaughn, dozens of officers, and the widow of Sergeant Philip Dale Nix. Jameer Foster appeared first and is facing the heaviest possible sentence. You're also charged with first-degree murder that carries the maximum sentence of the death penalty or life in prison without the possibility of parole. Prompting a reaction from him, Judge Tabitha Holliday quickly put down. It, this is just a horrible, horrible thing. Um, so don't, don't say anything else. Please don't say anything else. Um, at this point, you're presumed innocent. Uh, that's the way our justice system works, and that's where we stand today. Meanwhile, Blackwell and Morrison each could face more than 19 years in prison. In court today, we also heard new details on what led up to the shooting. According to the district attorney, Sergeant Nix frequented the sheets on Sandy Ridge Road in Colfax. On that day, the DA says Sergeant Nix was sitting outside at a table off duty when he noticed a car parked in a handicapped spot. It's unclear if he was in uniform, but the DA says he had his badge and a gun with him. The DA said Morrison and Foster each stole five cases of beer and went out to the car. And that's when investigators say Nix approached the driver's side of the car. At that point, uh, it's believed this individual pulled a handgun, fired at least five shots, striking uh, Officer Nix. In a moment of sympathy, Judge Holliday directly addressed the loss of Sergeant Nix to his widow and Greensboro police. Tragedy doesn't even describe the senseless, senseless acts of violence that, that we see here today. And I'm very sorry for you and your family. Um, my sincere condolences to your family and to the entire Greensboro Police Department family.